For years, the feminist movement has fought for women's rights. Many academics and countries have been part of this trend. Amidst the ongoing campaigns and debates around gender equality, especially in Eastern Europe, there are still some countries where feminism doesn't even exist. In today's video, we'll introduce these European countries where feminism is nothing. Number 10. Kosovo This is a European country with limited diplomatic recognition. Kosovo is a landlocked country in the Balkans, bounded to the north and east by Serbia, to the southeast by North Macedonia, to the southwest by Albania, and to the west by Montenegro. Kosovo is known for its incredible hiking opportunities and quaint mountain towns. This country has faced different governance, societal development, and economic challenges. They have deep-rooted traditional gender roles that dictate the roles of men and women in society. These roles often characterize men as the primary providers and women as supplementary. This has made Kosovo one of the Eastern European countries where feminism is non-existent. Although Kosovo's economic growth has surpassed its neighbors and been mainly inclusive, more is needed to provide enough formal jobs, notably for women and youth, or to considerably reduce the country's high unemployment rates. Kosovo's growth model relies on remittances to fuel local consumption, but it has recently switched to more investment and export-driven growth. Kosovo must increase productivity and create more high-quality jobs to sustain its growth. Number 9. Belarus Belarus, known as the Lungs of Europe, is home to the Bowie Forest, one of the last and most prominent remnants of the vast primeval forest that formerly covered the European plain. There are also several beautiful national parks to visit here, which are great for enthusiastic hikers and enthusiasts of fresh air. Belarus, like many post-Soviet nations, still has gender roles ingrained in it. Women are also usually underrepresented in politics and leadership positions. There's also a significant gender pay gap. Women may earn less than men for similar work, contributing to economic disparities between genders. Gender-based violence is also an increasing concern in Belarus. All these factors have made them one of the Eastern European countries where feminism can be said to be non-existent. Number 8. North Macedonia Despite being a small landlocked country, it has boundaries with five other countries. Kosovo and Serbia are to the north, Bulgaria to the east, Greece to the south and Albania to the west. Mountains, lakes, national parks and ancient cities with Ottoman and European architecture abound in the country. Macedonia has an intriguing past and a complicated national spirit, with much of the country still unexplored and is an ideal location for those wishing to wander off the beaten path of conventional European excursions. Despite its rich history, North Macedonia is still one of the countries where feminism is almost non-existent. In 2018, a small percentage, 4.2% of women aged 15 to 49, said they experienced physical or sexual violence from their current or past partner in the past year. Also, girls and women aged 10 and older spend more time, 15.4%, doing unpaid care and housework than men, 5.1%. Moreover, women between 15 and 49 often face challenges concerning their sexual and reproductive health and rights. For instance, in 2019, only 29.6% of women had access to modern family planning methods. These factors have made North Macedonia one of the countries in which feminism is said to progress very slowly. Number 7. Moldova Moldova, an Eastern European country and former Soviet Republic, has varied terrain including forests, rocky hills, and vineyards. Like other post-Soviet nations, Moldova has gender roles deeply embedded in it. Women in Moldova continue to encounter discrimination and inequality in various aspects of their lives encompassing social, economic, and political spheres. Regrettably, their representation in Moldovan politics and decision-making falls short of international standards. Specific education and labor market challenges burden women in Moldova. These obstacles are compounded by lingering patriarchal attitudes, which restrict their educational and professional opportunities. Discrimination such as significant wage gaps and occupational segregation further exacerbates the situation. Additionally, unequal distribution of work and family responsibilities and limited access to childcare create additional hurdles. Women entrepreneurs also need help accessing bank loans, 
and state-funded business and entrepreneurship development programs. One pressing and distressing issue women face in Moldova is the prevalence of violence. Violence against women remains a grave and widespread concern within the country. This has made Moldova one of the countries where feminism is almost non-existent. Number 6. Ukraine Ukraine is the second largest European country after Russia. Ukraine is known for its beautiful and diverse landscape, well-preserved culture and tradition, beautiful women, and terrible nuclear disaster. Feminism's relative absence or limited visibility in Ukraine can be attributed to various factors. One of them is the cause of the deeply ingrained traditional gender roles and cultural norms that resist or discourage the advancement of feminist ideals. These norms often perpetuate stereotypes that dictate rigid roles for men and women, limiting opportunities for gender equality. Cultural and religious conservatism are prevalent, impacting the acceptance of feminist principles. Political and legal environments are crucial for feminism to spread. Ukraine has somewhat restricted civil liberties and limited political freedoms. Advocating for feminism and women's rights may be difficult and, in a way, dangerous. This has made Ukraine one of the Eastern European countries where feminism doesn't exist. However, this country is slowly changing for the better regarding gender equality. This is especially so in the military aspect of this country. Number 5. Bulgaria Bulgaria, located in Southeast Europe, is among the Balkan countries. It shares borders with five neighboring nations, including Romania to the north, where the Danube River flows. Additionally, Bulgaria lies on the coast of the Black Sea, offering several cities with luxurious beach resorts. Bulgaria is renowned for its stunning beaches along the Black Sea, captivating ancient historic ruins and intricate religious landmarks. The country also boasts breathtaking natural spots like Vitosha Mountain and Rila Lakes. Feminism has become a filthy term in Bulgaria. Bulgaria had very open attitudes and practices towards women's rights during its communist past. But the context has evolved in recent years, despite membership in the European Union. At numerous levels, there's a widespread reaction against feminism and women's rights today. Gender equality has become contentious, particularly among political leaders and prominent public entities, such as the Bulgarian Orthodox Church. Feminism is often debated and viewed as foreign, brought in from the West, and perceived as too liberal for Bulgarian society. Gender and sexual education in schools are often considered taboo by many parents. Additionally, there's concern that the anti-abortion narrative poses a significant risk to women's reproductive rights in the foreseeable future. All these have made Bulgaria one of the Eastern European countries where feminism is almost non-existent. Number 4. Serbia Serbia is a landlocked country in Europe's Balkan Peninsula. Although this country may lack coastlines, it compensates with picturesque rivers, mountains, and fertile plains. The country is renowned for its vibrant capital, Belgrade, and its national brandy, Rakia. Serbia's nightlife, palaces, fortresses, and the well-known tennis player Novak Djokovic add to its fame. Beyond the attractions, Serbians themselves are a delightful bunch. Despite their tough exterior, they're a creative and welcoming community, eager to share their homeland with visitors. Their lively and laid-back nature adds to the allure of this fascinating country. In Serbia, feminism's not active. Here, women are passive victims and become objects of sexual violence frequently. In their culture, males are historically seen as the family pillar and provider. Serbia has experienced four wars, and women often became victims of violence in the fold of their own families. Serbia is one of the countries in which women's rights are significantly suppressed. Next up is Montenegro. Montenegro is a Balkan country with rugged mountains, medieval villages, and a narrow strip of beaches along its Adriatic coastline. With a population of only 622,137, it is one of the smallest Mediterranean countries. Its constitution describes Montenegro as a civil, democratic, ecological country, with a state of social justice based on the rule of law. After gaining independence, Montenegro ratified significant human rights conventions including the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women CEDA. In 2010, it became an official candidate for European Union membership, committing to promoting gender equality and women's rights during the EU integration process. Q 
Key legislation supporting gender equality in Montenegro include the Law on Gender Equality adopted in 2007, amended in 2015, and the Law on the Prohibition of Discrimination, adopted in 2011. However, despite these laws, implementing gender equality measures in Montenegro remains weak. Women continue to be underrepresented in decision-making processes, including parliament, government, and political parties, as well as in business and property ownership. This has made Montenegro one of the countries where feminism is not regarded. At number 2, we have Bosnia and Herzegovina. It is a middle-income country with a population of 3.3 million. Following the 1992-1995 war, Bosnia and Herzegovina began a reconstruction process, economic and social recovery, and a transformation to a market economy. Their government has ratified several international gender equality obligations. Amidst their efforts, women encounter numerous challenges and barriers in their quest for complete equality across all aspects of life. These obstacles primarily revolve around traditional gender roles, influenced by cultural beliefs about suitable roles for each gender. Inefficient responses to violence against women and low representation of women in decision-making positions in public and political spheres also hinder progress. Moreover, marginalized women such as those living in remote or rural areas, women with disabilities, and those with diverse sexual orientations and gender identities continue to experience discrimination. The gender gap persists across various education levels, age groups, occupations, and industries, posing additional difficulties in achieving true gender equality. All these have contributed and made it one of the Eastern European countries in which feminism doesn't exist. Number 1. Russia Russia is the world's largest country, has the longest railway, has the second largest art museum, and is home to many billionaires. It's also one of those countries in which feminism is hardly seen. In February 2017, Russia decriminalized domestic violence, which deeply concerns civil servants protecting women in the country's Far East. Surprisingly, very few officials opposed this measure. President Vladimir Putin approved after an overwhelming 380-3 vote in favor of the bill by the lower house of the Russian parliament, the Duma. The new law reclassified violence against family members, making it less punishable. Abuse that doesn't cause broken bones and doesn't happen more than once a year no longer leads to significant prison sentences. Instead, the most severe penalties for abusers are fines of up to $530, short stints of 10 to 15 days in jail, or community service work. Unfortunately, courts often do not side with the victims making it even more challenging for women who have experienced abuse. This new rule signed by Vladimir Putin has shown the world how intolerable this country is to feminism. For the feminists out there, it's a significant stay away sign.